Hi folks, Ray DVD here on the Movie Reviews 100 channel again. This week it is our very own Scott, aka Sonny Ram's birthday. And he shares his birthday with some eminent uh, film people. We've had, uh, we had Big Al do, uh, doing a Hugo Weaving film on Friday. We had EJ doing a Barry Pepper film yesterday, Saturday. And today I'm going to be talking about a Natasha Leon film called Slums of Beverly Hills. Natasha Lowen, she's probably best known as Jessica from the American Pie films, but I, I sort of remember her from this film. Uh, I always thought she was going to have a, a great film career, and uh, this was the, the sort of springboard I thought that was going to propel her into sort of stardom and stuff. Basic plot is uh, she plays a girl called Vivian, a 15 year old girl, and uh, her family are, they're, they're called, they're like Pam. They're penniless nomads moving from one cheap apartment to another in Beverly Hills. So that, uh, are, no, there's a family of them. There's uh, Vivian, played by Natasha Lone, and her two brothers, and their dad, played, uh, who's played by the great uh, Alan Arkin. He's he's 65 years old, and he's really he's over the hill. No, he, he should have retired by now, but he's. He's putting all his money in his kids' um, education and stuff, and so they've got to move from these sort of uh, rundown apartments all the time, you know, to keep the to keep them in sort of decent schools and stuff. So they're always on the move, oh, they're always on the move to different apartments and stuff. Uh, Natasha alone, Vivian, uh, she's 15 years old and she's just uh, came through sort of puberty now, and she's got ample bosoms. Uh, the first scene we see her and she's uh, getting measured for a bra and her and her dad are sort of in the shop and that great one liners from an uh, interaction between Alan Arkin and Natasha Leon and stuff. And it's set in the seventies, so there's great location work, great uh, sort of uh, clothes and uh, different sort of uh, designs and stuff. And it's basically about this family moving from apartment to apartment and uh, how they get by in sort of everyday life and stuff. Natasha Lone's characters you know she's uh, she meets up with this guy who lives in the in one of the flat apartments and she's she's getting more sort of interested, you know, she's getting to the age where she's interested in boys and stuff. Uh, her dad played by Alan Arkin, you no, know, the running gag in the film is you no know, they they keep on saying, Is this your grandpa? but he's actually the, her father, he, but he's he's sixty five years old, he should have retired and stuff. And uh, it's just it's a really really good film, you know. It's the comedy works good, the interaction between all the the characters is good, and it's got a great cast. You know, we've got Natasha Lyonne in it as Vivian. We've got Alan Arkin as the dad, Murray. But we've also got Marissa Tom who plays the cousin of Vivian. She's 29 years old and she's just uh, she's broke out of a a drug and booze rehab, and. Uh, uh, Alan Arkin's uh, character Murray, his his brother uh, says, "Can you look after Marcia Tom Rita? Uh, you know she's she's a sort of rebel and stuff, and he says, make sure she goes to school and that." So Vivian has got to look after her. You no know, sort of babysit her. Although uh, Rita's a lot older than her, she's twenty nine years old in the film. Then we've got the two brothers. You no, know, they've got the older brother and the younger brother, and they're. Uh, They've got good banter as well, and we've also got the love interest for Vivian. You know the guy in the, the other apartment is played by Kevin Corrigan, who he looks really young in this film. When I look back now, uh, I know him from Fringe and uh, The Men at List, but he's been in loads and loads of films. He's one of these actors that you know his face straight away, and uh, I just love this film for the settings. You know the the even like you know, the 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 time frame as well, set in the seventies and that. Uh, and then they're actually between the whole family, you know, you can tell the whole family love each other and uh, they just, they, they band together and that, although they're all grump and grime, it's a uh, it's really, really good heartwarming film. It, it didn't get good reviews at the time, I believe it didn't make its money back and stuff at the box office, but it became a, a sort of cult classic through video and uh, I, I always remember it in my, in my memory and stuff. As for Natasha Lone, she's a bit of an enigma, you know, she, like I say, she was, uh, I thought big things were going to happen with her, but she was like the sort of sassy Jessica in the American Pie films, and like I say, this film as well, I thought this was going to be the start of her career, but she's had like uh, health issues, you know, she had a drink and a uh, drug problem, and she was like, uh, I always remember uh, on IMDb, 
there was a time when she went missing and she ended up in like a, an A and E in, in New York and it turned out you know, she was she was in uh, life threatening situations and it turned out that she had I'm reading here on the, the Wikipedia, she had a heart infection due to the drugs, uh, she had she suffered hepatitis C, she had a collapsed lung and um she underwent open heart surgery in two thousand and twelve, which is not that long ago, to correct the heart defects that she had. So she's had a bit of a, a troubled life. Um, pretty talented actress, I thought, you know, and it's good to see her in as a younger role in this again uh, to see what what she could have been, you know, and stuff. So that's my review. I hope uh, hope you like it, Scott. Um, look forward to seeing your own uh, review to see what you pick and stuff, and look out for the rest of the boys' reviews during the week. Bye for now.